rank one. The ultimate rank in foot champions that every single FIFA player that dares to touch the weekend lead dreams to achieve. Not only is it the rank with the greatest rewards, but it's the rank that has the greatest bragging rights. I mean, one aspect that comes with reaching such a rank are the questions and the demand for the tactics that you use to lose only once out of 20 games. And after personally getting rank one on the RTG, AKA the no money spent road to an event. Oh, hang on, that episode's coming out Tuesday. I might have just spoiled the results. I think it's only fair that I share my custom tactics, which got me rank one in foot champions. Moving in to the tactics. Now believe me or not, we're using one single formation, and that's the tactics I'm going to show you guys today. Because literally, if I go down, I'm using the four triple two. If I go up, I'm using the four triple two. It does alter though, depending on the game situation. I will briefly delve into that throughout this video. But this is the tactics balanced for defensive style, with enough width on 55, depth on 65. Those are specific, simply because I notice a lot of people use five at the back. Of course, the five one. 2-2, a very OP formation this year, and I have done a video on how the 4 2 actually lines up with that 5-back. And I find when there's a little bit more width in the attack, they're able to line into those holes where the gaps are in the 5-back. We have depth on 65, you know your boy. We love pressing. Manual press, right stick switching, second man press, MS Dossery style, you know how it is. 65 depth for that reason. Fast build up, that's because simply, we cannot spend too much time on the ball this year. If we'd spend too much time dribbling around, taking our time, we can't turn quick enough. Okay, so we need to have fast build up. I need my players going into positions to receive passes quickly so we can get up the pitch quickly. And that's why it's on fast build up because we don't have time to dribble. We'll get caught out if we do. So passing plays, fast build up is the way to go. Balanced from chance creation though, I do want my players sticking to their positions. I like knowing where they are at all times. With the four triple two, I like having my four in a line with the two CDMs breaking up the play. So that should be left on balance. In terms of width, it's on 50. Okay, I do like my defense. I do like my defense staying on that standard width. Okay, when we terms of lining up with the attack of the opponent. Of course, we then have plays in the bots on six. I find it's the ultimate amount. With corners and free kits on three. Okay, we move on to the instructions as well. What I like to do is have my quicker striker on getting behind and then Harry Kuehl on Mr. attack. Now that is not my Mbappe, if you're wondering. That is alone Mbappe, so don't come into me saying, what the bloody hell have you got with Mbappe on an RTG? No, it's a lone card, okay? We then have obviously balanced for our wingers, Anthony and Neymar, Kuehl as well as on Mitz. Now the reason why I have my quicker strike on getting behind and my slower one on Mitz attack, because I want to have a passing option with my striker if need be. When they're on Mitz, they'll come short sometimes and they'll essentially offer for a pass, okay, and essentially you can hit their feet and drag defenders out. That's why I like it being on Mitz. For our CDMs, okay, I have them on cover wing. The reason why for that is because I've noticed with the five back, you have an overlapping wing back. So having those CDMs out wide just a little bit helps with that. And they sort of sit in between the center back and the wing back. Now that is debatable. You could have them on cover center, okay, and they could be more tight in the defense. But more importantly, they're on stay back while attacking because I want them breaking up the play, okay? So in terms of cover wing and cover center, you can decide what you want to do with that. Davies on join the attack and overlap, but Frimpong is on miss attack and stay back. This is interesting, and it's simply because I want at least three defenders back when I'm going forward. I don't like my two wing bats getting forward unless I am down, and that is going to, obviously, give you a hint as to why I changed this. It's because I want to have more players forward. When I'm down, I have my two wing bats get forward in behind on overlap, and also on join the attack. But in a normal situation where I'm drawing or whether I am ahead, I like having at least one wing back on stay back while attacking. And of course, run type on Mitz. Whereas Davies is on overlap and join the attack. So I have him getting making runs up the wing and giving myself options. And I find it makes a huge difference. You can be attacking, building up, and you'll see that run of Davies every single time. It'll give you another option on the wing and you can overlap with him, which I find is very effective in this game. Okay, and that is pretty much the custom tactics 
and player instructions. Now I want to briefly mention, if I go down in the game, what I'm doing is I'm putting forward runs to get more players forward, and I'm just increasing the depth to around 75, and the players in the box to around 8. That is so I can get a bit more players forward, more attacking options, and as I said to you as well, we're of course putting Frimpon, when we are down, on, join the attack, and overlap for him. Okay, in terms of where he will be going when we are down in the game. In terms of when we're up, I don't change anything. I'll hug the sideline with a D-pad, but that's about it. Those are my custom tactics. It's all I use. I don't change between formations. I use a 4 triple 2 against every single formation. It's very solid, and it counters most formations in Fever 23. But that will sing at the end of it. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm coaching one-on-one -on, -one on Patreon.com. You want to be a part of that? Link is down below. Okay, and of course, you can follow me on Instagram. Keep in touch with your boy in the no money spent road to an event. But as always, I hope you have a good day. I'm out. Sign up. Au revoir. Adios. Salam. Share. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplements, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code AussieFIFA at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys. So thank you.